Okay, let's move over uh, to the NBA. We're going to stay with hoops. We're going to move over to the NBA. Um, we are coming down the home stretch. Uh, my New York Knicks had a major injury. I'm not going to start there uh, because my, my heart is still hurting in terms of my Knicks and, and where this season it, it is going. Excuse me, folks. My apologies. Bro, how do you see the playoff picture shaking up in the Western Conference? Who do you see at the top of the conference? Maybe you give me one, two, three seeds. And then who do you see at the bottom of the conference? Maybe not even uh, getting in or being in the play, uh, the playing tournament. You know, I'm talking about teams like the Lakers. I'm talking about teams like the Rockets. You know, top and bottom of the conference. And then feel free, to, bro, to go off and chime in. Those folks in the middle, the Dallas Mavericks, the Sacramento Kings, the Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns are kind of towards the bottom. Uh, how do you feel about the Western Conference shaking up right now going into the playoffs? Uh, I feel like the the Western Conference is looking like a, a dog fight. I mean, we all said that year all year that it was looking like a dog fight. Uh, I think you know if SGA's health is any concern, the Thunder are going to be getting bounced quick because you, you know if a hot Lakers team that's not who the Thunder really want to see. I would say not in the first round. Good stuff. Good stuff. Listen. Uh, for me in the West, uh, we got to give respect where respect is due to the, the defending champions, the Denver Nuggets. And I know that might be just chalk pick, you know, home pick. Listen, I've been on the Denver Nuggets and Mike Malone since before the bubble. And Mike Malone is a coach and this roster with Jokic, with Jamal Murray. Drafted Michael Porter Jr. and built him up. Brought in Aaron Gordon. Love this kid Christian Braun. So Denver Nuggets at the top of the conference. Oklahoma City is no joke. I don't care if they're young. I don't care if people can't pronounce uh, the, 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 the new coach's name. I have, you know, uh, Sam Presti in the background with all these number one picks. Oklahoma City can make the Western Conference Finals. Would it be the most market, marketable Western Conference Finals? No, but this team is, is serious. You are what your record says you are, and they're young, and they're built for the long haul. I think those are the two top teams uh, in, in, in the West, and then it's just, it's just everybody else. All right, let's talk about everybody else. Dallas uh, with Luka and, and Kyrie, offensive juggernaut. Do they have the depth and the defense in the playoffs? I don't think so. Phoenix Suns, uh, I'm sorry, haven't played enough uh, two together. Team I like uh, that people are kind of uh, downgrading, Sacramento Kings under the leadership of Mike Brown. I see them making it to the divisional round, right, with Oklahoma City and, and Denver. The best of the rest, look, folks, uh, let's, we can't have this conversation without talking about the Lakers. LeBron is more focused on his business initiatives. Shout out to uh, Mind the Game. Have you seen that podcast, bro? Mind the Game with LeBron and JJ Reddick? Not yet. It dropped. Okay, new podcast on Thursday. Um, obviously, a situation with Bronny going into the transfer portal, which kind of surprised a lot of people. I don't know if that's smoke and mirrors. Bronny going into the transfer portal for him to choose another school. I think the plan for him is just to go to the NBA. So that's a, a narrative that's really got my attention and other people's attention. The fact of the matter is this. You know what's not going to get attention? The Lakers in the playoffs because they're probably not even going to be there. All right, probably not going to even be there. All right, I, I just It's too far of a bridge to climb for the Lakers if they do make the play and guess what seed they're going to have. They're going to have the 8th or the 7th seed. Guess what they're playing in the first round? Denver, Oklahoma City. Done. Okay? So I think the Western Conference is going to be more about the have-nots than the haves. Respect on these small market teams. Denver, Oklahoma City. Dort, sidestep, fly by. Three is good. Cashes it in. Sort of the, the relief from Dort after the first make. And nice ball fake there to get the fly by. They had numbers. Basketball in 2024 for you. Jay Will, quick turnaround, puts it up and in. He is single-handedly keeping Denver in this game. Shea spinning, fouled in, able to bank it in. Got raked by Murray. Walked away, shook his head, said, look, you know, the guy's spinning, he's dipping, and he's pumping. Shea once again, trying to bend that Denver defense. A step back three action. SGA's got his second as he rips the course from four. Follows the miss, got it back. Outside the home grid. He will fire away and hit the three. The Thunder got a little breathing room as he kicks it out to Chet. And the rookie 
does what most rookies can't do. Defensive end, but the Thunder found a way down the stretch. Jackson just dribbling the clock away. Thunder will give him that two and be able to run this clock out and pull out the victory over the Nuggets. 105-100 to close out this heavy January schedule going 11-6.